Hi. Today I will teach about uh, what is the limit of a sequence. I already say what is a sequence. Here we will discuss about uh, what is the limit of a sequence. So we can take uh, one sequence a n equal to 1 by n. So, a n equal to 1 by n is the sequence. So, a 1 equal to 1, a 2 equal to 1 by 2, a 3 equal to 1 by 3, a 4 equal to 1 by 4, etc. So, on. So, we can plot these points in the x, y plane. Corresponding to n, what are the 1 by n's? So, um, n equal to 1, 1 by n is 1. n equal to 2, half of 1 by 2. n equal to 3, 1 by 3. N equal to 4, 1 by 4. N equal to 5, 1 by 5. So as N goes to infinity, 1 by N goes to 0. Is it right? That N will be large, 1 by N goes to, goes near to 0. That is the meaning of limit. So, some n will be large. That is the meaning of the sequence of limit. Limit of sequence. As n goes to infinity, what is the behavior of a n? n goes to infinity. What is the behavior of a n? That means uh, a n goes to which number? a n goes to a number or not? Suppose a n goes to... A n didn't come to one number. That, that, uh, that time we say it has no limit. I will explain. After I will explain that. That's it. Here we will say. Here we will consider a n equal to 1 by n. Is the sequence. So here as n goes to infinity. 1 by n comes to 0. Or 1 by n near to 0. Similarly, we can check one another function. Next sequence, we consider next sequence is a n equal to minus 1 by n by n. So, we take n equal to 1 minus 1 by 1 minus 1. n equal to 2. Minus 1 square by 2. 1 by 2. N equal to 3. Minus 1 by 3. Here minus 1. Here minus 1 by 3. Here 1 by 2. Next N equal to 4. 1 by 4. N equal to 5. Minus 1 by 5. N equal to 6. 1 by 6. N equal to 7. Minus 1 by 7. So here N goes to infinity. Minus 1 by N by N lies between minus 1 and 1 and it is close to 0. That means the terms of sequence are alternate in sign but still it approaches, still it comes to 0 minus 1 by 7, next 1 by 8 minus 1 by 9, 1 by 10 minus 1 by 11, so still close to 0. We can consider another sequence, one of the another sequence, an equal to n. Here, n equal to 1, we got 1. N equal to 2, we got 1 by 2. N equal to 3, 1 by 3. N equal to 4, 1 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, sorry, 4. N equal to 5, 5. So here, in this sequence, as N goes to infinity, 
an also goes to infinity. An did not come to any other number. An also goes to infinity. Next we will discuss one of the another sequence. An equal to minus 1 by n. So here n equal to 1 we got minus 1. n equal to 2 we got 1. n equal to 3 also minus 1. n equal to 4 also 1. So similarly minus 1, 1. Alternately it, uh, it will come to minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1 etc. So here we will discuss uh, four sequence. First sequence is an equal to 1 by n. That an equal to 1 by n goes to 0. Next is an equal to minus 1 by n by n. As sentence to infinity, this term also goes to 0. This sequence also goes to 0. Next is an equal to n. So as sentence to infinity, this sequence goes to infinity. Next is an equal to minus 1 by n. Here n goes to infinity. An is not goes to infinity. An also not goes to one number. One particular number. But it will alternate minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. Two points. Alternate with the two points. Here we can distinguish these four sequence. First sequence a n equal to 1 by n is as n goes to infinity, 1 by n goes to 0. Second is a n equal to minus 1 by n power uh, n by n. As n goes to infinity, minus 1 power n by n tends to 0. Next is uh, an equal to n. As n tends to infinity, an tends to infinity. Next is an equal to minus 1 power n. As n tends to infinity, an tends to minus 1 and 1. So clearly, we can learn from all of the sequence. An is close to 0 in the case of 1 by n. Also an equal to minus 1 by n by n is also close to 0. And in the case of an equal to n as n tends to infinity it does not close to a particular number. It is goes to infinity. Next is an equal to minus 1 power n. It is also goes to a particular number. It does not goes to a particular number. It goes to minus 1 and 1. Even number uh, that sequence goes to 1. And odd number the sequence goes to minus 1. So the roughly we can say the sequence converges is... As n will be large, what is the nature? What is the closeness of the terms in that sequence? That is called the limit point. Limit of that sequence. This is not mathematical way. This is a, uh, this is the definition of, roughly we can talk about uh, limit of the sequence. Next I will say, the mathematical definition of, Limit of sequence. I think you already studied epsilon delta definition. In the sequence of, sorry, limit of functions. Epsilon delta definition of limit of functions. Here also we will discuss about epsilon delta definition of convergence of sequence. The sequence a1, a2, etc., an, etc., converges to L is 
said to be limit of sequence if n gets close to and uh, remain arbitrary close to L as N become large. A1, A2, etc., AN, etc. be the sequence. That sequence converges a particular number L is a limit of that sequence if AN gets close to <coughs> close to L. Arbitrary close to L as N goes to infinity. That is the meaning of sequence. Mathematically we can write it as as N goes to infinity as N goes to infinity AN goes to L. That means uh, limit uh, N tends to infinity an equal to n. That is limit n tends to infinity an equal to n. Where l is the limit point of the sequence an. <coughs> it also we can explain as a sequence an be the sequence is said to have a a limit L means uh, limit n tends to infinity a n equal to L. So forever epsilon greater than 0 a n close to L means uh, a n and L difference of a n and L is very small. Difference of a n and l. We can uh, conveniently we can take modulus value. Difference of the modulus of the difference. Modulus of the difference of a n and l is very small as n goes to infinity. So very small number. Difference of a n and l is very small. That we conveniently we write it as epsilon. So, a n minus l, difference of a n and l is less than epsilon for n greater than or equal to n. For all n greater than or equal to n. This is the definition of limit of sequence. Once more I will explain. We have some sequence a n. A1, A2, etc., AN, etc., be the terms of the sequence. That A sequence AN converges to L, or AN has a limit point, and L is the limit point of AN. If AN and L be close to each other, that is, some particular stage, uh, a n close to a particular number. The, uh, here we will uh, discuss L is a limit point. So, for all n greater than some particular number, all a n goes to L or a n near to L. That is the meaning of L is the limit. We can write it as, as n goes to infinity, a n goes to particular number l. That means, uh, a n is said to have a limit. That limit is l means, uh, limit n tends to infinity, a n equal to l. That means, uh, uh, for a particular stage, after a particular stage, uh, and the terms of the sequence and L 
difference of the terms of the sequence and L is very small. That is the meaning of limit of the sequence. Here we will consider, I will explain 1 by N. N equal to 1 by N. So we can take 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5, 1 by 6. Here, after a particular N, after a particular, after a particular N, we got this near to zero. All terms near to zero. That's why we say zero is the limit point of the sequence. And of the other sequence, we consider n equal to n. So here we got 1, 1 by 2, 3, 4, etc. So after any particular stage of n, it will, it didn't go to a particular number. This sequence goes to infinity. That's why we can say n is, does not converge to, does not converge. Does not converge means that sequence is diverge. Here we need to prove that uh, using epsilon n definition, limit n tends to infinity, 1 by n equal to 0. That is, we, we have a sequence. That sequence is 1 by n. And 1 by n and 0, 1 by n, uh, and the, one, the sequence limit is 0. We need to show that uh, sequence of 1 by n is close to 0. That means uh, the difference between the 1 by n and 0 is close to close as after a particular stage of n. So, we will take definition a n equal to 1 by n and l equal to 0. 0, we need to show that 0 is the limit. So, l, we take l equal to 0. And a n minus 0, that is equal to 1 by n minus 0. 1 by n minus 0, that is equal to 1 by n. So, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon. We need to show that after a particular stage, that n, we need to find after a particular n, these two terms are close. These two terms difference is less than epsilon. We need to show. So 1 by n less than epsilon. That is 1 by epsilon less than n. So we got 1 by epsilon less than n. That means uh, for all n greater than 1 by epsilon, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon. So, uh, 1 by epsilon less than n. Such n's, uh, we consider such n's. Uh, such n is giving to our sequence. Uh, that, see, that terms minus 0 is less than epsilon. So we can choose capital N is greater than one by epsilon. So here we get the N integers or as natural numbers greater than one by epsilon. In that cases, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon. So here we choose n is say natural number greater than 1 by epsilon. So in that case, so n greater than or equal to n, in that case, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon. That means, Limit of 1 by n is 0. 
so I briefly explain once more. We needed to show that uh, the sequence 1 by n is converges to 0 as n tends to infinity. So we take a n is the sequence. So we will take uh, a n equal to 1 by n. And we needed to show that 0 is the limit value. So we take l equal to 0. So we needed to show that uh, a particular stage, uh, the terms of the sequence uh, and limit value is closer to closer. That means uh, sequence and limit value difference is less than epsilon. So here a n is 1 by n and l is 0. So we take a difference of a n and limit value that is 1 by n. So, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon for a particular, after a particular n. That n exists or not, we need to check. So, we take 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon. So, we can write it as 1 by n is less than epsilon. So, we can write 1 by epsilon is less than n. So, in this inequality, 1 by n minus 0 modulus 1 by n minus 0 less than epsilon, that inequality is exist. In the case of 1 by epsilon less than n exist. That means, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n, less, for all n greater than 1 by epsilon. So, we can choose n is a natural number greater than 1 by epsilon. So, that n greater than or equal to small n, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon. So, there exists a capital N. After a, this n, 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon. 1 by n minus 0 is closer to closer. That means uh, limit of 1 by n is 0. Next problem. Sn is a sequence. Uh, Sn equal to 2n plus 1 divided by 3n plus 5. Show that uh, limit n tends to infinity. Sn equal to 2 by 3. So, in this question, we got uh, the sequence Sn is 2n plus 1 by 3n plus 1. And we needed to show that uh, this sequence is converges to 2 by 3. So, we can take uh, L equal to 2 by 3. <coughs> by epsilon n definition, we needed to show that uh, difference of this sequence, uh, terms of this sequence and 2 by 3 is closer to closer after a particular, particular stage. That means uh, this sequence and 2 by 3 is less than epsilon as after a particular natural number n. So we need to find uh, such n. That is the, our, our concentration. So we need to find uh, such n for these two uh, sequence and 2 by 3 are closer. Such a particular n we need to find. That is we need to find uh, a number n such that uh, Sn minus 2 by 3 is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n. So we take uh, Sn minus 2 by 3 that is equal to 2n plus 1 by 3n plus 1 minus 2 by 3. That is equal to we find this value 3 into 2 6n plus 3 minus 6n minus 3n plus 5. So my question is different. 3n plus 5. So 3n plus 5. So minus 10 divided by 3 into 3n plus 5. 
so modulus here so 6 and 6 and cancelled we got modulus minus 7 by 3 into 3 and plus 5 that is equal to 7 by 3 into 3 and plus 5 so modulus Sn minus 2 by 3 is 7 by 3 into 3 and plus 5 that means we got uh, the difference of the sequence and limit. Uh, modulus Sn minus 2 by 3 is 7 by 3 into 3n plus 5. So our concentration is modulus Sn minus 2 by 3 is less than epsilon. For all n greater than or equal to n. This particular n, we need to find it. So, we take modulus Sn minus 2 by 3 is 7 by 3 into 3n plus 5. So, we can take modulus Sn minus 2 by 3. That is equal to 7 by 3 into 3n plus 5 less than epsilon. 7 by 3 into 3n plus 5 less than epsilon. So, 7 less than 3 into 3n plus 5 epsilon. So 7 less than 9n epsilon plus 15 epsilon. So we can take a 9n plus 15 epsilon. 7 less than 9n plus 15 epsilon. So 7 by epsilon. 7 by epsilon less than 9n plus 15. That means 7 by epsilon minus 15 less than 9n. We needed to find this n. So 7, epsilon, 7 by epsilon minus 15 less than 9n. So, 7 by epsilon minus 15 by 9 less than n. So, we got 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by 9 less than n. So, we can say that n positive, natural, positive integer n Greater than 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by n. 9, 15 by 9. For all n is greater than 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by 9. An minus L less than epsilon. Once more I will say. Uh, for all n greater than. 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by 9. Such n exists. Such cases our sequence Sn and 2 by 3 is less than epsilon. So after this stage 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by 9. After this, after this particular number such integer such natural number, number sequence and 2 by 3 is less than epsilon. After a, after that uh, integer. That means, uh, I will say, uh, for all n is greater than 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by 9. Such n's uh, Exist in this inequality modulus Sn minus 2 by 3 is less than epsilon. So we can find uh, capital N is greater than or equal to N. That is uh, such N uh, exists. This N is uh, 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by 9 n greater than or equal to n. So we got a capital N. This capital N is after 7 by 9 epsilon minus 15 by 9 positive integer. In that case this modulus Sn minus 2 by 3 less than epsilon. This inequality exists. 
That means uh, after this stage, uh, this particular n, Sn goes to 2 by 3. That means this sequence, given sequence, uh, converges to 2 by 3. So next question is An equal to N. Is goes to infinity as n tends to infinity. Otherwise, a n is divergent. So our sequence is n. Suppose n goes to a particular number and limit. Suppose exists a limit. That limit is l. So n minus l is less than epsilon. As n goes to n greater than or equal to n. So, n minus L as n greater than or equal to n. That means n minus L is a positive value. So, n is a large value. L is a small. So, n minus L is less than epsilon. So, n less than L plus epsilon. Suppose a n, this a n equal to n is converges to L. n is always less than L plus epsilon. L we can choose 2 means n less than 2 plus epsilon. L we can choose 100 means n less than 100 plus epsilon. L choose 1000 means n less than 1000 plus epsilon. So, uh, we can't take a large n. So, our limit value definition is as n is greater than or equal to n. That is the contradiction. So we can't say a n equal to n is converges to L. That means a n is diverges. Such capital N we can't find. So after n less than 1000 plus epsilon or n less than 100 plus epsilon. So less than value only we can find. We can't find a greater than n values. After a particular stage, n is goes to L. We can't find such n. That's why this sequence is diverges. Still, properties of limit of sequence. First, two sequence sum, a n plus b n. Its limit is sum of limits. Limits a n plus Limit n tends to infinity b. Next property is scalar multiple c a n. That is equal to c into limit n tends to infinity a n. Next third property is limit n tends to infinity a n bn that is equal to limit n tends to infinity an into limit n tends to infinity b so sum of the limit of sum of sequences sum of limits and scalar multiple of sequences limit of scalar multiple of sequences scalar multiple of the limit and product, limit of the product sequence is uh, product of limits. Next, limit of a constant sequence is constant itself. And limit n tends to infinity 1 by n is, we already see that 0. If f is continuous at limit n tends to infinity a n, then limit n tends to infinity f of a n equal to f of limit n tends to infinity a n. That is, if f is continuous at a limit n tends to infinity a n, then limit n tends to infinity f of a n is f of limit of a n. 
So we need to prove how is this definition is hold up. We can see we can see in this way. So here F is continuous. What is the definition of continuity? Modulus f of x minus f of y less than epsilon if modulus x minus y less than delta. So uh, if is continuous at a, if is continuous at a, modulus f of x minus f of a less than epsilon if x minus a less than delta. Here, f is continuous at a limit of a. So, a limit of a n means, uh, limit of n tends to infinity a n is L. Let uh, limit n tends to infinity a n is L. So, we can say, modulus a n minus L less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n. So, we will see 1. This is the definition. Here given that f is continuous at limit n tends to infinity a n. So I will say limit n tends to infinity a n is L. So a n minus L is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n. And given that f is continuous. So given that f is continuous at limit n tends to infinity a n. So, by the definition, mode f of a n minus f is continuous at a limit value. This is equal to n. So, we can say f is continuous at a l. So, modulus f of a n minus f of l less than epsilon if modulus a n minus l less than delta. That is modulus f of a n minus f of l less than epsilon. If a n minus l less than delta means n greater than or equal to n. If this a n minus l is less than delta as n greater than or equal to n. So, modulus f of a n minus f of l less than epsilon. If modulus a n minus l less than delta. If n greater than or equal to n. So, both of them are concluded. We can say f of a n minus f of l less than epsilon. If small n greater than or equal to capital N. That means uh, uh, f of a n minus f of l is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n means f of a n converges to f of l. That means uh, limit of f of a n is f of l. A sentence to infinity limit of f of a n is f of l. That means limit n tends to infinity f of a n equal to f of, what is L? L is limit n tends to infinity a n. So we got, f, so we got uh, limit n tends to infinity f of a n equal to f of limit n tends to infinity a n.